Ok, no, gracias por el aviso. Y... Ok. Ok, no, no. I um, have spent a lot of my adult life in and out of construction, uh, maintenance jobs. Bueno. Bruno, who is also my neighbor and lives here, uh, and I decided to start a little kind of electrical side job business for a number of years. We recognized there was going to be this need providing um, maintenance for mobile homes. My name is Ingrid Johnson. I live here at uh, the Dulce Limita Mobile Home Cooperative. I am uh, a member and co-founder of Chispa's uh, Maintenance Property Management Cooperative. One of our kind of focuses was realizing there's a, a lot of folks throughout our neighborhood and county that weren't able to receive any, you know, home repair service, and specifically uh, amongst mobile homes. I go. And so I think. Our big push was throughout our neighborhood, that's, it's one of the most prominent uh, s sources of affordable housing. So how do we like protect them and, and, and actually refurbish them when, when well cared for, um, that they are actually viable housing? Poderema intenta cambiar pólizas públicas que podrían afectarnos en cuanto a desarrollo urbano, en cuanto a nuevos cambios de pólizas o zonificaciones para la comunidad, en prevenir, parar o detener el desplazamiento de las viviendas. En nuestra comunidad es mayormente la vivienda accesible o la vivienda económica. Son parqueaderos de casas móviles. Yo soy Rocío Albiter eh, y soy codirectora con Poderema. Eh, me enfoco en el, el desarrollo comunitario. Yo soy una inmigrante mexicana que he venido a este país hace 24 años. Vivo aquí con mi familia, eh, tengo dos hijos adolescentes y me encanta vivir aquí porque estoy cerca de algunos de mis seres queridos. La gente no tiene acceso a la información porque tienen unas vidas muy ocupadas por ser parte de una comunidad de clase trabajadora. Nosotros estamos llevándole con el outreach a sus casas información de lo que está pasando y al mismo tiempo estamos entendiendo los retos y las necesidades que nuestra comunidad tiene. La mayor parte de nuestra comunidad son parqueaderos de casas móviles que pertenecen a un dueño y donde la gente es dueña de su traila, pero no del terreno debajo de su traila. Esto nos hace vulnerables, nos hace más fácil que nos desplacen si llega un inversionista de otro estado o de otro lugar a comprar estos parqueaderos. Déjame pensarlo. Todos estaban preparados. Eso fue una, un parte muy clave. One of the ways in which Chispas Gets Out was really able to form was with great support from Poder Emma and the cooperative uh, development team to kind of help the help the, the birth of this co-op. 2020, um, two mobile home parks, uh, Sourwood Mobile Home Park and Mahetsi, came up for sale. We realized that if we wanted to kind of grow, you know, this kind of cooperative network that we were going to really need to be able to kind of uh, manage and maintain those properties. Looks like there might be a big shipping thing blocking our way. Let's see if I can pass them. You 
like I, I printed them out, Jay, but missed half of the uh, the letters. <laughs> we are definitely bursting at the seams in this building with all the different orgs and cooperatives. At the same time, we were doing all of these surveys throughout the neighborhood about what people wanted to see and what people were like excited about. And one of those big things was like a huge gathering space. Okay. Uh, right. this this is it has, so it has updated. Seed Commons is a national lending cooperative that has incredibly transformed and supported our network of cooperatives here. We're actually able okay, to okay. dream really big that we could even think about like this huge community kind of cultural space and the fact that that was something that we were able to do I think was a large part due to our relationship with them. So welcome to the kind of like dreaming space uh, might sound cheesy, but this is kind of the, um, what, you know, there's a big question of like, what potentially could this space be? And there's a lot of really exciting ideas. Like, does it turn into an industrial space, a sewing cooperative, mechanics, skill sets that are already within our community? And then as we start to develop, it's like, what, what sorts of things could happen in this space? So, so it's been a kind of amazing learning process along the way working with uh, just professionals that's going to like move your program forward. Okay, no. Okay, nos vemos pronto. All right. I'll tell you a little bit about Starwood, the mobile home park that we're heading to. Almost half of the folks that live there are actually members, which is you know, was the intention to, um, from the purchase. There were, there were several spots that were empty when we actually closed on the property. So there's a, a, a long waiting list of people that are wanting to join the, um, the co-op due to just unstable housing in, in this area. It's really just about a shared um, desire to have affordable housing, to have, um, you know, a place that you live, that you love, that you get to take care of, that the trash gets picked up. You know what I mean? Like you, sh there, there are all these things, the decisions that you share as members together. But it was, it's been really uh, neat watching this unfold because these aren't necessarily folks that had, were, were friends or had shared relationships before, but there is the shared desire to really love and love where you live and have a say in what that, what that looks like, so. There's a process of eligibility, um, working with the county, creating a scope of work to be able to um, meet the meet the client's needs, perform the work, and then you know report back to the county on, on those processes. We got to see today was the construction of a ramp, a, a larger porch area, and a roof um, that is for a member. We're lucky that we have some grant funding from the county to be able to make some ease for, for him. So currently my son goes to after school at Bougainvillea and he had started preschool there since he was two. <laughs> Kayla! Hey, Kayla hey. Estrada is the co-founder of Bougainvillea. My last place here, uh, he, 
Bougainvillea is another cooperative in our network that provides preschool and after school care for many of the folks that work in this cooperative and live in our uh, mobile home cooperatives. I am feeling so grateful that my son has gotten to grow up there, learn, and um, in a way that I think, you know, she starts to shape his development and who he is. I feel so lucky that, um, I, you know, in, in some sense was very much like raised by, part, partly by Kayla and by like her care and her brilliance. When things are really hard, the ways that we can really like show up for each other is pretty, like I can't imagine um, being anywhere else. <laughs>